1967, the year Freddie Steinmark graduated from the halls of Wheat Ridge High, may seem like ancient history to many current day farmers. I, I don't know anything about him. Yeah, yeah, I don't really know much about him. A long time ago. Yeah. I don't. Uh, no. But there are some who linger at the display case that immortalizes his story. He had cancer and uh, he had to get his leg amputated. You know, he played through most of the season with it. He's going to play through everything that he can just for the team. He was uh, very inspiring to other people. We will not lose this game. Let's go out and do it! Yeah! And for those unfamiliar with Freddie, the new movie My All-American will help introduce him to a new generation. It's something both Wheat Ridge Principal Griff Wirth and Wheat Ridge Athletic Director Nick DeSimone are looking forward to. Parents probably realize who he is, but I don't know how many of them get a chance to talk about a Freddie Steinmark uh, to their kids. We're pretty excited about the chance to share the story of, of a farmer that came through here and did, you know, changed the world, one person. And for those who want to go deeper, a childhood friend of Freddie's, author Bauer Yusi, is out with a highly personal account. The guys who made the movie, uh, when they started interviewing people that played football with Freddie at uh, Texas, here, they said, you know, he really was different. <laughs> we said, yes, he was. He was unlike anyone I've ever known. Yusi says when Freddie was diagnosed with cancer and had his left leg removed at the hip, there was no anger, no bitterness. You know, faith was the number one priority in Freddie's life. And he, he, he just accepted the fact that this was God's plan for him. Initially, Freddie hoped he might be able to continue his football career as a one-legged punter. It was the first thing he asked about in the recovery room. That was not to be. Instead, in his remaining year and a half of life, he became the central figure in a new national approach to cancer research and treatment. It's something that makes his brother Sammy and his nephew Freddie Joe beam with pride. The day Freddie died, uh, President Nixon had the first appropriation bill for cancer research in 1971. It's the 1028 bill with the first number being 28. We find that more people each year die of cancer in the United States than all the Americans who lost their lives in World War II. This shows us what is at stake. It was a billion dollar appropriation, which back then was huge. Everyone has a connection to Freddie uh, from that standpoint. He raised our consciousness about cancer and he set us on the present course to find a cure. When Freddie died, President Nixon had sent his attache, Bud Wilkinson's son, to our house and he said, President Nixon wanted to ask me, is there anything that he could do for you, Gloria? And my mother said, well, <laughs> we need a war on cancer. My mother deemed, coined that saying and he took it back to the White House and they did it. I've just been very honored my whole life to be in the same breath as him. The legacy that I carry on is, is just one of living your life to the fullest, being as inspirational to other people as you can and treating people the best you can.
It's not about football and it's not about cancer. It's about the character that we live with and it's about spreading that to the next generation and we've worked hard here to inform our kids who Freddie Steinmark is, not because we want them to have a hero or an idol, but we want them to understand the character that it takes to change the world.